Hello, my beautiful crafty friends. Uh, today I am going to try to marble some polymer clay, but I'm going to try it a little bit differently than I've seen it done before. Um, I have some translucent Sculpey Primo clay here, and I am going to cut it into three, but then I'm going to color or attempt to color two parts with some distress ink refills. I have no idea if it's going to work because I've never seen anyone do it with Distress Ink refills. I've seen people color it with alcohol ink, with other little bits of polymer clay, with acrylic paint, but never with Distress Ink. So I'm going to give it a shot. Um, I've also got some white uh, acrylic paint, a little bit of translucent liquid Sculpey, and then a tiny bit of, um, I'm going to add some silver leaf to it as well. And then I've got my roller and my tissue blade. So let's get going and let's experiment and see if this works or not. I mean, I know that the Distress Ink is... Okay, so I'm going to cut it into three relatively even pieces. I'm going to set one aside. So I'm just going to kind of condition them a little bit and get them to a point where I can actually add some of the ink onto it. So I'll just condition these a little bit and then I'll come right back. Okay, so I've got some Mermaid Lagoon and some Prize Ribbon. So I'm just going to put a few drops on each one. I don't know how much or how little I might need, but I do want these to be a fairly deep color. So let's see. Oh. <laughs> Making a mess already. <laughs> Glad I put gloves on. Okay, so I'm just going to try to fold this in. Okay, it seems to be working, except I probably should have just added it one, one at a time because I'm getting the other ink all over the place. Um, but it seems to be coloring it quite nicely. Okay, I'm going to try and work with this other one, the prize ribbon. See if I can do it without making quite as much of a mess. Unlikely. <laughs> Well, it seems to work. I, I don't think I'm going to put it through my passing machine now. I'm, I'm a little bit leery because I feel like it's just going to muck up my passing machine. So I'm, I think I'm just going to roll it and be happy with that. Okay, so now that I've got my three bits of clay, I'm going to chop them all up into little pieces. I should probably maybe wait for this to dry a bit more, actually. Hmm. Eh. <laughs> I'm too impatient. <laughs> Sorry, that's probably a horrible noise. Okay, um, just so you don't have to listen to that noise, I'm going to chop it all up off screen here and uh, just make it into tiny little pieces. The smaller they are, the better it seems to uh, work. So, I will be right back when I've got all three colors, uh, the translucent and the two different blues, all cut up into little pieces. Okay, now that they are all choppity chopped up, I am going to mix them loosely together. Just like that. And then I'm going to add just a tiny bit of white acrylic paint. Bloop, bloop. Okay. And now with my gloves still on, I'm going to mix all that in. Okay. And then I'm going to mix in a tiny bit of the 
uh, silver leaf as well. Oh, <laughs> just opened it and it kind of went everywhere. <laughs> just gonna see if I can sprinkle some out here. I think that's enough. <laughs> I'm covered in it. <laughs> okay. I'm going to add just a tiny bit of uh, translucent liquid Sculpey. That's probably more than enough. And now I'm going to mix all of this together. Oh, I probably should have waited for the white paint to dry. Eh. Waiting is not exactly my strong suit. <laughs> oh, I feel like I should wait. I'm going to wait just a few minutes to let that dry a little bit and then we're going to put it into almost like a rectangle shape and then we'll cut it and see what happens. Okie dokie, it's been a little bit and so now I'm going to kind of form all of this into kind of like a rectangular shape of sorts. Let's just grab all these extra pieces here. Acrylic blocks can be helpful here to smush it, but um, I'm just going to use my hands. You don't want there to be any air bubbles, so you want to try and get it as compact as you can. That looks pretty good. I'm just going to wipe off my space here, give myself some clean area to work. Okay, let's slice into it and see what it looks like. Oh, that's pretty cool. I like it. Oh, focus. It's hard to see against my messy gloves. Alright, let's cut a few slices. Well, actually I'm going to cut the whole thing. And then I'm going to kind of put it all together again. I want to cut them fairly uniform. I'm doing mine quite thick because I am going to put it through my pasta machine, which will thin it out. Okay, so let's put all of this together, kind of. Just smushing it, smushing it together. This one's a little bit thick. I might cut this one in half. Okay, give it a little bit of a roll. Flip it over and try rolling it again. Just want to make sure that they're all stuck together quite well. Okay, I'm going to roll this out. I want it to be fairly thick, so I'm going to roll it out just on a zero and see how we go. Okay, that looks quite cool, I think. All right, I'm going to cut some pieces out and uh, see what happens when we bake it. Okay, I'm just going to take the scraps and roll them out as well. Okay, so here they are, ready to go in the oven. Um, there's a few here that you can see are a bit more blended. Those are the ones that I rolled out um, of the scraps from these ones, the first ones that I cut out. So I um, didn't want to waste any. So I'm going to put these in the oven at 275 for about a half an hour. And we'll see what they look like when they come out. Okay, so this is what they look like out of the oven. They're all cooled off. 
Um, I've got them on a silicone mat because I'm going to be resining the tops of them. I've just gone along the sides of each with uh, my Dremel just to smooth them all out. And I will be using this uh, UV resin that I got off Amazon. Um, this is the light that I'll be using. And uh, safety first, so I will be, ha I will have my respirator on, so I won't be able to talk. So I will just be putting on some music while you watch me resin a couple of them, and then I'll do the rest off camera. And then I've got some uh, nitrile gloves as well. Safety first. Uh, okay, so I am going to put my mask on and put some music on and start resining. Oh, also I'm using this little silicone tool just to push the resin around to the edges. Okie dokie! And here are the pieces after uh, resining. Just bring one up so you can kind of see the shine. I'm not sure if that's coming through or not on the camera. But they're very nice and shiny now. There, it's kind of picking it up there. And I did both the front and the back. So I've got uh, a pendant here, and then earrings, earrings, earrings. That's all I've done so far. I've got more pieces yet to do, but I can only have that respirator on for so long <laughs> before it's really, really, really hot. I am going to go over the edges um, again uh, with a little bit of a polishing. Um, but other than that, they are ready to be made into um, jewelry. Yay! So I hope that... Uh, you got something out of this tutorial. I think they turned out really cool, especially these particular earrings. I absolutely love the way they turned out, so I'm really excited about those. So um, I feel like it was a success. I'm quite happy. Um, I might try and take some pictures of these in the sunlight and put them on my um, Instagram, Lunar Sun Art, um, so you can see what they look like uh, in the sunlight. All right, so as always, have a beautiful day. I hope that you will consider subscribing to my channel for more tutorials like this. And if you'd like to support the channel further, there is a little button that you can press just down below in the description box that says buy me a coffee. And it's uh, kind of like a virtual little tip jar and it definitely helps this channel to continue making these videos. Awesome. So thank you so much and I will see you again very soon. Sending you huge hugs. Bye.